honey's just in here. Okay, we're about to do our mukbang. Um, I just got back from San Diego, and uh, we're about to do our mukbang at Hardy's. And I saw a lot of Carl Juniors over there in San Diego. So, you know, who doesn't love a good old hot dog? I love good old hot dog and a hamburger. So we're gonna pick up like the Big Star meal or whatever it is. So we'll catch you guys in a bit. Hey, Frank. All right, guys, we'll catch you in a bit. All right, guys, here's Hardee's. Let's go ahead and get some Hardee's. You ready, Frank? You ready? Uh -huh. Do what? I'm on my video. All right, guys, we'll catch you in a bit. Hold on one minute, please. Okay, thank you. Um, take that shit down. Hold on one minute, please. Um, do y'all have... Oh, do y'all have the hamburger and the hot dog off the all-star meals? Number 18. Okay, I would like two of those, please, ma'am. Um, a uh, sweet tea. Can you make that large, please? And what you want to drink, Frank? Coca-Cola. And a Coke, please, ma'am. Um... That'll be it. Um, yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Alright, guys. Frank had the fucking tissue box. Had the damn tissue box. Who the hell you acting like? Myself. Yourself? Yeah. So, you're really a tissue box instead of Frank. Is that what you are? Are you gonna raise hell? No, but are y'all people gonna let them raise hell at me? Raise hell? I ain't raising hell. Are you doing something? Well, hell, you are you saying I'm being myself? I'm just saying you're being a tissue box. God. All right, honeys, we just got our food, and we was wondering what the hell was taking so long, but they were cooking our um, French fries. Here you go, Frank. You said, give me my food. Give me my FOD. And I was like, what? Give me your FOD? What the hell's a FOD? All right, guys. Well, we got the food. Damn, you tearing it up, ain't you, Frank? Fuck yeah. They just spilt the fries in here. Shit, they didn't care how they put it. They just spilt some bitches. All right, guys. Let's see what we got. Mm. But Hardy's fries are pretty good, though. I love Hardy's fries. Mm. If you guys have not been following me on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, I went out to San Diego this past week. I left Tuesday morning, came back, what, Friday night. Let me just say, I had the best, best time with Chelsea and the family. Hell yeah. Awesome. Then I also got to meet the supermodel. Tess Holiday and her husband Nick Holiday. Amazing people. Cannot wait to go back next year to visit them. Freaking awesome. Um, what else we got? Where's the damn hot dog? They better be a damn hot dog in this shit. Oh yeah. Here we go. The genuine. What the hell? <laughs> damn, I believe they just get smaller and smaller. Shit. Oh, and uh, Paige and Brett. Love them too. This like a damn dried up weenie. Look at this shit. Look like a fucking dried up weenie. Hell, all the balls are scribbled up. Shit. Scribbled up. Shit. No ketchup. No nothing in this bag. They must have knew I was coming. Mm. Mm. That's some good shit right there. Mm. 
So how, what you been up to, Frank? Nothing. You been missing me since I've been gone? I've been busy. Oh, but, but that ain't answering the question. Have you been missing me? Everybody take a trip. Do what? Everybody need to take a trip. Hell, really, I need to take another one. Damn, boy, you go. Damn, did they put pickles on that shit? Mm-hmm. Ooh. I don't eat fucking pickles. Fucking phone. Tell them we're trying to fucking eat. God. Hey. I'm in my nose, going crazy. Going crazy. Damn, Rose. Then Justin. I had Ted, I got Ted Justin Walmart. I ain't got the damn phone. I ain't going to Madison. Be laid on. Be, what time it closed? But, but besides this conversation, I hope everybody's having a great Saturday. Oh, uh, when? But I actually really enjoyed myself. We had a great time. We had Jello wrestling. I'll try to be back. Um, try hell, I ain't getting back. <laughs> hell with her. I'll try to. Um, that Biden, that's nice and down in Flat the Hill, ain't it? But yeah. Uh, we had Jello wrestling. We had um, right. we had Tess as the judge. I got, um, I got a very rude uh, nephew over here. He's trying to get his video in the movie. Okay, I'm gonna talk. Hell, I don't give a damn. He's very rude. He's a very rude 24 year old man. Very rude. Hell. Uh, damn. I'm Damn, phone call. Phone call shouldn't interrupt my damn video. All right. Phone call shouldn't interrupt my damn video. I ain't worried about her. Okay? What are you doing? What are you doing, Mr. Justin Lynn? Late mom's son? What are you trying to do? Be rude like your mom? My mom wasn't rude. You better take that back. Hell no, I ain't taking that back. She's gonna get her style too if it took the world come to number five. Uh, we don't care. I don't care if it comes to 475. <laughs> Hell you looking at? Dumb fucker. Well, sorry guys, if I was rudely interrupted by a phone call. But like I was saying, we had the Jello wrestling contest. Um, Greg was the referee. Um, Tess was the um, she was the judge. And um, she, I didn't even know I was participating in it. And uh, cause I was cause I told Chelsea, no, I don't want to be in it. And let's just say I got pretty drunk. Okay, I had two shots of peanut butter whiskey. I had two beers, <laughs> and y'all know I don't drink. I don't drink. I'm not a drinker, but I got kind of tipsy, and I had to be set down for a while. So when I got back up after I drank, after I drank like three um, bottles of water, I was fine, and that was the beginning of the Jello wrestling. And she's like, "Oh, well, Justin, you're next." I'm like, "What?" But yeah, it was fun. It, I enjoyed it. Even though it's kind of stayed me for a whole day, even but shit, I still enjoyed it. Um, and going, and you guys need to catch that vlog coming up Monday. So catch it up Monday. Friend, we got some questions. You ready to answer? You gonna answer them anyway? I don't care if you are or not. All right. Question number one: How long was the flight? The flight was like um, three hours and 59 minutes long. 
but hell, it was well worth it, though. I loved every minute of it. And it was sad to come back home, but hey, guess what? Can't wait to next year when I go back out. Number two, how drunk did you get on at Chelsea's 4th of July party? I got a lot. I got tipsy. Let's just put it that way. Um, I had to be set down for maybe, what, 30 to 40 minutes because I was so damn drunk. Number three, how was San Diego? Now, San Diego, when I first got off the plane, it was cold as hell. Well, hell ain't cold, but it was cold as water. I'll put it that way. And um, because when I left here, it was like, what, 80-something degrees. When I got there, it was like, what, 72? And it was like 3, 3 p.m. their time um, on the West Coast. And I was like, shit, it's cold. Because I actually thought that San Diego and California was going to have warm weather. I was like, oh, this won't be a problem. Bring a jacket if you're going to California. If you're from the um, East Coast. Because you're going to be needing it. But I love the weather. I, I wore shorts. I wore flip-flops. A uh, t-shirt. And I still went on about my business. Because it was, it felt great. Now the prices, on the other hand. The prices are expensive. Um, we have a game. I mean, we have, you know, game washing detergent here. $4.50 for a small one. There, it's $11.99. I'm like, whoo, triple the price. I was like, shit. What the hell is this damn bitch looking at? But yeah, um, number four, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the hell they say or not. Don't give a shit. Number four, what's Uncle Frank's favorite color, food, and hobby? What's your favorite food? No favorite. You ain't got no favorite. I know you do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dumbass. I know. I, I, I know. I know you got a favorite food. You like hamburgers, hot dogs. You're eating it in hell. I'm hungry. Oh. You like Chinese? Nope. Oh, he loves fried chicken. That's the best. Mm -mm. What's your favorite color? Pink and purple and pink ink. Pink, purple, and pink ink. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, miss you put I'll give you one. Yeah. What's your favorite hobby? Sleeping. Oh, he he loves that. Especially when I gotta call his ass like eighty times mm. to wake him up. Mm -hmm. He won't touch No, no. Number five, what's your favorite cereal? Honey, my favorite cereal is Fruity Pebbles. I've always loved Fruity Pebbles. Number six, best part of the trip to California. What was it like meeting Chelsea and the family? Honeys. When I got to California, it was great. I loved it. Um, we went on the beach. Um, we um, had reservations for a dinner that night. Um, and then I got to meet um, the sisters, Maggie and Beth. They are so wonderful and so great. They're amazing people. And you know, they greeted me with love and happiness. Because when I when I met them, I didn't feel like I should be, you know, scared. Uh, or even just get used to people. I felt like open arms. And, and that's the way it felt when I met Chelsea. And I've always been a fan of Chelsea. And everything that she has done, like with Trailer Trash Tammy, all that kind of stuff. But it felt like we were long, you know, lifelong friends. Hell no, not even friends, but like family, like sisters. That's how it felt when I when I met them. And it was freaking awesome. I loved it. Great people to be around. Funny as hell. You can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with it. But the best part of the trip will probably be the 4th of July party that we have. 
Jello wrestling, tacos, friends, and all that kind of stuff. Hell yeah. And I also met some other YouTubers. Um, Paige. Um, you might, you guys might know her. She falls all the time in the videos. Great. Great. Um, her husband, Brett. Who else? Tess was there. The model. Supermodel. Awesome. And Tess is amazing to hang out with as well. She really is. Um, and I cannot wait to hang out with him next year when I go out. Favorite app on the phone? Instagram. Who doesn't love Instagram? You can upload. You can do stories. Who, who doesn't love that shit? Number eight, are you going to be doing future videos with Chelsea? By the way, love you. Love you too, honey. Um, yes, we have, I have one video of me and Chelsea coming out tomorrow. It's going to be me and Trailer Trash Tammy um, doing our mukbang at McDonald's. And then we have another video of Starbucks with me and Chelsea. Um, the, well, what's the other one? Oh, well, I don't, I'm looking at you like you know. Hell. Um, KFC, the Cheeto what, Cheeto chicken sandwich that they just came out with. That was fucking good. Um, and we got the vlog coming out. And we also, oh, and we got the Barbara sister video coming out. So we got about five or six videos. And I got the vlog too. So that's six. So we got six videos coming out of me and Chelsea and the family. Um, what else? Funniest part of your trip to California? Probably seeing the seals. Um, I love I love seeing seals. I haven't saw them in what maybe twelve years because I haven't been to the beach in like twelve years. Like a you know like a real nice beach like um, San Diego. So I went there. Uh, we got out. We saw the seals. And the smell, I was like, ooh, Chelsea, we got we to gotta go. We got to go. Because, you know, it, it kind of stunk. But, um, I, I, just love listen, I just love listening to the seals. That was about the, um, probably the funniest part of the trip. And we also got to see the Big Daddy seal as well. And he came up, woo, making all them big noises. I love that. That was fucking awesome. Number 10, tell me the secret to being positive all the time. Love you, honey. Love you, too. The secret of being positive is not caring what other people think of you or say about you. And always do you. Be your own self. To hell with what other people say. Because guess what? At the end, what you say matters the most. Always remember that. Number 11, um, was your vacation the best? From a 1 to 10, I would probably have to rate it a 10 out of 10. 10 being the highest. Because I had a fucking awesome time. Uh, number 12. Did Frank miss you while you were gone? Love you, honey. Love you too, honey. Frank, did you miss me? I worked. But that ain't telling me that you did you miss me or not. I thought to myself. You say to yourself. But that's not telling me did you miss me. Uh, I don't know what I do. You don't know what you do. All right. I don't know. Y'all, I don't know about him. I don't know if he missed me or not. He won't damn say. Uh, number 13. What will you miss most about California? The family. The family. Chelsea, Maggie, Beth, Greg... Travis. Can't forget Millie and Tilly. I love them so much. They were the life of my adventure out there. I remember Millie woke me up. Um, what was it? It was Thursday. It was Thursday morning. It was 4th of July. She woke me up. Because she had to go use the potty. She had to go potty outside. And 
and nobody was up and she came and she looked up at me and she you know kind of made the noise like mm, mm. she you know, and, and you know she was whining and I was like oh and, and I even have a video clip of it I'll put it in my blog as well but Millie always would hang around me um and everywhere I go like like I remember going up the stairs and when I before I got to the top she was looking and they're like you coming you ready and Millie and Tilly are the best but yeah that would be the most part it's the family and the friends that we met during the 4th of July party you can't beat it um and California food is amazing by the way um, we stopped at, um, on, on my way to the airport, we stopped at the, I forgot what the restaurant was called, but Mina and Ebony, oh my lord, great people. Mina has one hell of a restaurant business. It's freaking amazing. We had lobster tacos. That shit was off the chain. Pretzel with queso. Hope I said hope I said the word right. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is so funny? I found talk proper. Talk proper. It's called talking. It ain't called talking proper. Yeah. Um, but like I was saying, and we had like a guacamole dip with kind of like nacho cheese Doritos type. I mean tortillas it was freaking awesome I loved it great meal and I had a martini there first time I've ever had a martini let me just say y'all can do it freaking amazing loved it um number 13 oh no no it's what number 14 if you were to change your name what would it be if I had to change my name, it would probably be Justina. The female version of Justin. That's what I would do. Justina. Number 15. Pick one. Taco Bell or Captain D's? Which one would you eat at, Frank? I don't know. Taco Bell or Captain D's? Mm. Captain D's? Probably. I know you love the D. Shit. No, don't lie. Because, hell, I would have had to say t Cat and D's as well. Mm. Cat and D's is amazing. Hell, Dick is too. <laughs> Alright, guys. I know you had to put that down quick, get in there. Oh, hush. I know you had to put that down quick, get in there. I can't help it because I like dick. Like, I can't help it that you like pussy. Nope. Alright, we're not discussing this, okay? I'm trying to talk about sweet tea now. God. Alright, guys. If you want to go out there to San Diego, they're not going to have these plastic straws like we do in the South. It's going to be paper straws. And what you're going to have to do if you go out there, put your straw on top of your cup. Because that's where the paper will not get into it. But if you do decide to go out to San Diego, sweet tea is only in like Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, like those two restaurants. Everything else, I had to drink Coke. Because I ain't about to drink no damn water. I love water, but hell, I don't, I don't know. But yeah, um, I had to drink Coke. And I, I didn't mind drinking Coke, but I love my sweet tea. Y'all know why I love my sweet tea. What I'm probably going to have to do is probably go to San Diego, all over California, and show them how to make sweet tea. I would actually love to do that. Uh, let's see what the next question is. How did you and Chelsea meet, and how long have you known her? Um, I met Chelsea back in February, what, February of, um, this year, 
I tagged her into a video of my first mukbang that I did it. Um, where? Cat Captain D's. And she was like, that's me. If it was a male body, that would be me. And I and I do agree with that. Um, they're no probably fucking good. But yeah, me and Chelsea's been knowing each other since February, so... About four months. We've, we've been knowing each other about four or five months. And it's been one hell of a time. I love talking to her. She's an amazing person. Who doesn't love Chelsea? I love her. I love her a lot. And I love the family a lot, too. Uh, number 17. How do, how are you doing the jail wrestling? Let's just say I won. I don't know how in the hell I won. I guess I was still drunk. But somehow I won. I don't know. All I know, I put some, I know I put a guy in a choke, uh, in a choke coat, but I don't know. I don't know that. Still to this moment, I'm still kind of wondering how in the hell I win. What the hell you doing? Like you got dick in your mouth and you damn clapping on something over there. I am no queer and I don't like men. <laughs> Hell, I do. I love men. That's a good 10-10. Hell, let's make it 10-20. <laughs> Alright, guys. Number 18, would you move to California? Hell, yeah. I would love to move to California. Hell, even Frank would love to move to California. Nope. Yeah. Nope. what I say? One day gonna be gone. I ain't gonna be gone. Mmm. Mm. Pretty good. Yep, gonna be gone. I ain't gonna be no damn gone. Mm -hmm. No. Don't talk like that, because I'm ready to go back out there. But yeah, um, I would love to move to San Diego. Probably in the near future. I hope you guys love this video. Don't forget to follow my social media. It'll be in the description box below. I'll link my uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the YouTube channel. I sure would appreciate it. Love you, honey. Stay you. Stay beautiful. And always stay strong. Love you, honeys. Bye. Tell them bye, Frank. We're deucing with damn hamburgers now. No, it's a fucking scribbled up, sh scribbled up hot dog. Really? Really? Alright guys, catch y'all later. Love you, honeys.